Hi, I'm Geneviève Desrochers. Welcome to my presentation, Suggestions of Resources on Perinatal Mental Health. Before I start my presentation, I want to introduce myself. I am a postpartum consultant and prenatal mental health advocate. In 2009, I suffered from a very severe postpartum mood disorder. I was hospitalized and I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder of postpartum onset with psychotic features. During my recovery, I made the promise that one day I would help other parents who are going through a very challenging postpartum period because of a postpartum mental illness. So I started reading a lot about postpartum mood and anxiety disorder, informing myself about the subject, trying to find some website with professional information about it. So I spent many years learning about this subject. In 2016, I started a certification as a postpartum doula and I graduated in 2018 with Doula Canada. Since then, I decided to leave, to leave my job as a consultant in education to become a postpartum consultant and perinatal mental health advocate full time. And uh, so I started my uh, company, my business, postpartum uh, transition postpartum support. And my goal is to support families who are having a difficult time postpartum or who are dealing with a postpartum mental illness. And a big part of my business is also to uh, create trainings, to give training to, uh, to parents and also birth professionals about perinatal mental health. So this is why I am doing this training uh, today, like for free, um, sharing information and resources that I've learned during my whole, all those years about perinatal mental health. These resources are very useful for any birth professionals or also for parents who are going through a difficult time postpartum. So I hope you will enjoy. First, I wanna start with book suggestions. The first book that I'm suggesting is called Life Will Never Be the Same, The Real Mom's Postpartum Survival Guide. This is a book that I recommend for every new parent, like for the postpartum period. It is a great guide to emotional health in the postpartum period. The authors, quoting the book, present their clinically proven strategies for surviving and thriving during both the postpartum period and a lifetime of motherhood, end of quote. To give you an idea of the chapters, I'm going to read you the titles of each chapters. So chapter one, you have motherhood, the most demanding job ever. And then there's self-care, the key to postpartum emotional health. Obstacle to practic practicing self-care. The spectrum of postpartum emotions. Surviving the normal crazy of postpartum changes, physical and emotional symptoms. Surviving postpartum challenges, new mom's issues and answers. Unique needs help for single mothers, older mothers, adoptive mothers and families with fertility issues. Postpartum disorders defined. Fathers, partners and other caregivers. Beyond self-help, consulting a professional. And finally, putting your postpartum plan together. What I really like about this book is that it's not a very big book. And also, each chapter has a short version, which means that if the parent is too busy, doesn't have time to read the whole chapter, the parent can only read the short version, version of the chapter and get the main idea of the chapter, which is very good. The second book that I recommend is called This Isn't What I Expected, Overcoming Postpartum Depression. This is a very practical book for parents who are going through postpartum depression and also very handy for birth professionals to help them understand what postpartum depression is and the recovery process. So the authors offer, starting quoting the book, compassionate support and solid advice on dealing with every aspect of postpartum depression, end of quote. Their book helps parents to monitor each phase of the illness, recognize what, when they need professional help, give suggestions to help cope with daily life and the process of recovery. To give you an, exam, uh, an idea of the, content of the content of the book, I will read you the title of each chapter. Uh, recognizing postpartum depression, breaking negative thought patterns, putting feelings first and accepting postpartum depression, coping techniques, making time to take care of yourself, 
medication and postpartum depression, getting the most out of professional therapy, getting the support you need, helping your husband to help you, when your wife has postpartum depression, fantasies and expectations of motherhood, exploring your losses and reclaiming your self-esteem, working through intergenerational issues, and as you begin to recover. So I really like this book because also there is a, it is mostly written for the parent who is going through postpartum depression, but there's also a chapter dedicated to the partner to help the partner support his or her partner who's going through postpartum depression. The third book that I recommend is The Postpartum Husband, Practical Solutions for Living with Postpartum Depression. The author is Karen Kleiman, the same author as This Isn't What I Expected. So this very practical guide is intended for partners. So in my opinion, it's not just for husband, but for partners in general. It contains, quoting the book, straightforward supportive information and specific recommendations, end of quote, to help them support their partner and deal with the impact of depression in the postpartum period. What I really like about this book is that each chapter is written in bullet form. So all the information in each chapter is presented in bullet form. To give you an idea of the content, it talks about identifying the problem, coping, coping with specific situations, what you might be feeling, talking about the partner, treatment options, medication, support, why partners need support as well, special considerations, and recovery. So I think it's a very good book to recommend with this one. So if the client is going through postpartum depression, you can suggest this book and then this book for the partner. The next book that I want to talk about is a book that I love. It is one of my favorite. I would recommend it to every parent with a new baby. It's called Good Moms Have Scary Thoughts, A Healing Guide to the Secret Fears of New Mothers. It's also written by Karen Kleiman. This book is a compilation of, quoting the book, 50 stigma-busting cartoons that help new moms validate their feelings, share their fears, and start feeling better. End of quote. It is a great guide which also contains simple exercises. Perfect for parents, for partners, and families who need help dealing with the challenges of the postpartum period. So yes, as you can see here, on the left, you have a cartoon, like a conversation between two parents. And then on the right, you can find more information related with the cartoon that you've just read. And there is also, there are some, also some pages with short exercises so parents can read the cartoon and then some information and then sometimes there are some exercises that the parent can do to help um, remember or using the the strategies or that the information that they've just read so it's a great book and i would also recommend uh, bird uh, professionals to have it in their bag to show it to their clients and encourage them to buy it and because it's a very good book Next book is also on the topic of scary thoughts. It's called Dropping the Baby and Other Scary Thoughts, Breaking the Cycle of Unwanted Thoughts in Motherhood. So this is a book that helps mothers and their families understanding scary thoughts. It also gives them advice on how to manage their anxiety. To give you an idea of the content, the first section talks about what's going on. So a mother's anxiety, a closer look, and why am I having scary thoughts? The second section talks about clinical concerns. How do you know if you need help? Barriers to relief. Screening for scary thoughts. Finally, the third section talks about breaking the cycle of scary thoughts. Things you can do to feel better. Can you really change how you think? Professional treatment options. How others can help. Your personal treatment plan. And living with uncertainty. So this is a bigger book, a lot more uh, complex than the previous one, but that goes a lot in details and that helps parents who are going through um, like scary thoughts. This is a very helpful book. 
Um, to note here, um, the second edition will be coming in November 2020. The next book is called Understanding Postpartum Psychosis, A Temporary Madness. It's written by Teresa M. Tuoni. I would recommend this book if you want to know more about postpartum psychosis. So in this book, the author, quoting the book, gives us deep insight into the psychological, personal, medical, legal, and historical perspective on this little understood mental illness, which is both preventable and treatable. To give you an idea of the contents, so the first part of the book is an overview. So there are four chapters. It talks about more than depression, differences among postpartum psychosis, postpartum depression, and postpartum obsessive compulsive disorder, psychological views and treatment, postpartum psychosis across history and in the media today, and legal views. The second part of the book is stories of recovery. So 11 stories of recovery from parents who have gone through postpartum uh, psychosis. So a great book for you if you want to know more about postpartum psychosis and also a good book to recommend to a client who has gone through a postpartum psychosis. This book is also one of my favorite. It's called Dear Scarlet, The Story of My Postpartum Depression. It's written by Teresa Wong. And this graphic memoir tells the story of the author's personal journey through new motherhood and postpartum depression. It offers hope to people affected by postpartum depression and lets them know that they are not alone. So as you can see, it is a graphic memoirs with cartoons and it's a short book very easy to read and very very interesting i would really recommend uh, you to read that book to give you a perspective on postpartum depression like a story of postpartum depression and also would recommend it for clients who've gone through postpartum depression because it lets them know that they are not alone and it really can give them hope the last book that I'm suggesting here is my own memoir, the book I have written about my postpartum journey. So it is called Another Reality, the story of my postpartum bipolar disorder. So in this book, I talk about um, my diagnosis of postpartum bipolar disorder, my recovery process, and also my journey having a second child after this. So you can find it on Amazon and it's for now a Kindle edition. There are a lot more books on the subject of perinatal mental health. So if you want to see another long list of other book suggestions, I encourage you to go on the website uh, Postpartum Support International. And if you go in the section called PSI Store, you will see a long list of other books on the subject of perinatal mental health. So it's a great uh, resource to have like uh, you can also like you can of course like suggest your clients the book that I just introduced you to but if they want to go see and find more uh, memoir or books about other like on, on the subject of perinatal mental health this is a great list that they can go look at the second part of my presentation is about online resources so I've put there a, a list of good quality website that you can go look at or that you can recommend to your clients. The first website I want to talk about is Postpartum Support International. This is a great professional website that I highly recommend. You can find information about all postpartum mood and anxiety disorder on it, a practical help, so they have a helpline. Uh, you can also find uh, help by uh, support groups. They also have a provider directory. So if a family is looking for a therapist or a counselor in their area, they have a directory and uh, families can find it uh, uh, in, on the website. They also offer trainings and webinars for professional and they also have a blog. So I highly recommend this website. Another great website, and this one is Canadian, is called Pacific Postpartum Support Society. So on this website, you can also find information for both parents about postpartum, uh, perinatal mood and anxiety disorder. They also have a telephone support and they also offer support groups. 
what I find interesting on this website is that you can find testimonials of parents in videos. So very interesting and well done. They also have a podcast called Beyond Postpartum. So check it out. The next two websites are mainly for partners. So the first one is called Postpartum Dads. It's mainly a forum to help dads and families by providing first-hand information and guidance. What I like about it is that they have a Facebook support group. It's private, so you can request to be part of the Facebook group on the website. The second one is called Postpartum Men, and this is intended for uh, partners or fathers that are having a difficult time postpartum. So it's information for fathers dealing with depression, anxiety, other problems with mood, and the website also has an online forum. The next website is all about postpartum psychosis. So it's called Action on Postpartum Psychosis. You can find very detailed information about postpartum psychosis. The website also offers peer support network. There's a lot of resources for partners as well to help them support their partner who's going through postpartum psychosis. Uh, they offer also guides about postpartum psychosis, and there's a tons of personal experience of parents who've been through the experience of a postpartum psychosis, so videos, stories, even art, like poems about, uh, about the subject of postpartum psychosis. So highly recommended if you want to know more about postpartum psychosis or you want to recommend that website to a client who is going through uh, postpartum psychosis. This website is based in Toronto, Ontario. It is called Postpartum Support Toronto. On this website, um, families can find online therapeutic tools programs for free. So very useful. And I think there are uh, four programs in total. Uh, you can also find do-it-yourself postpartum support planning ebook. I really recommend this uh, ebook to help families planning their postpartum period. And also, what's great about this is that um, on the website, they, you can find postpartum mood disorder therapy and counseling services in Toronto. So on the website, there is a map, a referral map. So if you're looking for a therapist or some counseling services, you can look at the map and find some therapists and counselors in the area of Toronto. Infant Risk Center is a website where you can find information about medication in pregnancy and breastfeeding. So very useful. It also includes different forums. So forums about medication and breastfeeding, medications in pregnancy, etc. So if you're looking for information about medication, pregnancy and breastfeeding, this is a very recommended website. My last recommendation is my own YouTube channel that I started about two years ago. It's called Geneviève Desrochers, my own name. So it's all about postpartum mental health. So on my YouTube channel, you can find my story, my postpartum journey. So what I did is that I created a video for each chapter of my book about my postpartum journey. You can also find informational videos about postpartum mental health and also testimonials of other parents who've been through a postpartum mood and anxiety disorder. So I have different interviews of parents who have experienced a postpartum mood and anxiety disorder. So if you want to check it out, feel free. It's I'm adding some stuff on a regular basis. If you want to find other useful links, I suggest you to go on the Postpartum Support International website and you click on the tab learn more and then useful links and then you will see a list of other websites that they recommend.